Hey everyone, we are back to Brazil this week and we're at my favorite part of any country, the dessert. So today we're making brigadeiros, which are kind of like little fudge balls covered in sprinkles. They're really easy, mm, four or five ingredients, super simple and definitely delicious. So I can't wait for you to watch it and check it out. So to make these brigadeiros, the first thing that you're gonna need is a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. So I have a medium sized pot on the stove and I'm gonna put my sweetened condensed milk in there. Whoa, it's a little sizzling. And then I have three tablespoons of cocoa powder, which I'm gonna mix in there as well. And two tablespoons of butter and then a little tiny pinch of sea salt. We're gonna put in there too. And I'm gonna mix these all together. And seriously, this is the extent of the most part for the brigadeiros. They're gonna take about 10 minutes to cook like this on the stove, and the consistency is gonna change from this um, kind of watered down-ish sweetened condensed milk to a more fudge type consistency. So the longer you cook it, um, as the further you get into the 10 minutes, the thicker it's gonna be. And you know that it's ready when you run the spatula along the bottom of the pan, and instead of coming back together, the liquid stays separated. That's how you know it's gonna be ready to roll into balls. All right, so I'm just gonna keep mixing this up here and keep combining it. So brigadeiros are actually really, really popular in Brazil. Um, they have a lot of sentimental value for a lot of Brazilians. They're served at birthday parties after the cake is served and a lot of things like that. So um, they're definitely very popular there, but actually the way that they came about in the first place was in 1945, Brazil was electing a new president. So um, they had a, somebody in the running, Eduardo Gomes, and he was a ranking of a brigadier in the military. And so a lot of his supporters and some of his biggest fans wanted to raise money and awareness for his campaign. So they decided to, do, um, to make candy for, to raise money to sell and to make sure that everybody knew his name. But at the time, World War II had just ended, so milk and sugar were scarce. They didn't have a lot of ingredients to make candy. So instead, they started making the candy with sweetened condensed milk and cocoa powder, and they started selling uh, brigadeiros for the brigadeiro, which is the name of this um, candy that we're making today. So after we're done cooking the brigadeiros on the stove for about 10 minutes, they have to be transferred into a cooler bowl and then left to cool for about an hour or so. They'll thicken up after that and then they turn into the more of the fudge consistency at that point. So now they're really easy to make from this point on. So you're just gonna grab a little bit of this mixture here and roll it up into a bowl. You can use green sprinkles, blue sprinkles. Traditionally, it's brown sprinkles, and so I have a couple with those too, but today I thought we'd go green and uh, use some green sprinkles here. So you roll them up into a ball, plop them into the green sprinkles, which are sometimes hard to stick, and there you go, that's a brigadero. So, as I mentioned before, brigadeiros are really important to the culture of Brazil. So in Brazil, they have uh, little shops called Brigadeiro Boutiques where they'll make gourmet brigadeiros. And in those boutiques, they'll, I mean, make them traditionally like this, but they'll also put special ingredients in them like cheese or alcoholic beverages, peanut butter, Nutella, dried fruits, dried nuts, um, anything like that, where they'll kind of dress them up a little bit, make them a little bit fancier. But these kind that we made today are the kind traditionally made at home in Brazil. So I'm gonna put sprinkles on this last one and then we're gonna try them. All right, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna try one my favorite part of the whole show. You guys, I love them. They taste just like a big ball of frosting, which in my mind is the best dessert in the world. If you want to see the recipe for these, head on over to www.foreignfork.com slash brigadeiros. The recipe will be written out there and check back next week because we'll be starting another country. So if you all are really liking these videos and you want to see more of them, then remember to just hit the subscribe button down there and then that way you can make sure not to miss anything else.